Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal, your trusted real estate resource here in the greater Toronto area. During this video, we're going to take a look at our current market. We're going to talk about the number of sales, the average price. We're going to cover all the statistics. I'm really excited. I'm shooting this video on September the 7th, 2020. We've got all the data from August. Let's go ahead and compare it to the previous months of the year as well as last year. And believe me, I think you'll find this information very valuable. All right, so here's the first chart that I like to draw to your attention. We're looking at January through August. We're looking at the number of sales, active listings. We're looking at months of inventory, MOI, the average price and the days on market. Firstly, let's address sales. We can see that it was trending upwards in January through to March. And then of course, COVID happened and we had a significant decrease in the number of sales from 8,012 to 2,975 in April. And then as you've seen, we're increasing month by month. We didn't notice too much of a difference from July until August. From my experience though, I'm seeing it's a pretty strong market. It's more advantageous for sellers than it is for buyers. We had 2.8% less sales during the month of August versus July. Why did that happen? There's a lot of factors. Overall though, that's a good healthy number. And if you were to ask me my thoughts on that number, I would say it's relatively high given that generally speaking in August, that's when people take vacations. However, now fortunately due to COVID, we're experiencing this late spring market. So prices are still high and the units, the number of sales is still high as well. Let's take a look at active listings. I think this is better news for buyers as we can see the number of active listings has been trending upwards. In August, the Toronto Real Estate Board recorded having 16,662 active listings, which is a 10.9% increase from July. So this is generally a sign that the market may be softening in some senses because active listings go up number of sales go down and that's shown here in the months of inventory. If you're unfamiliar with that term, months of inventory, this gives us our general idea of the strength of the market, whether it's a buyer's market, meaning the months of inventory would be higher or a seller's market, meaning the months of inventory would be lower. This can tell us that. And we can see here from looking to July to August, uh, July, we were at 1.4 months of inventory and August, we were at 1.5 months of inventory, which this is still a very strong market. Looking at April, we were at 3.5. Looking at May, we were at 2.5. If you're considering selling your home or it's an idea for you to do maybe in the next 12 months, I would recommend that you do go ahead and take advantage of the market. And now let's take a look at the average price. This is a really good sign as during the month of August, we experienced our highest average price yet so far this year. As in January, the average price was only 839,000. And now looking at August, we're at 951,000. So although the number of sales was higher in July, the average price did come up. It was at 944,000 in July. And then we've experienced this 0.8% increase. Now let's take a look at days on market. Days on market is the time it takes from the time in which a property is new on the market to the time in which it's sold firm. In January, we were at 27 days on market. And now you can see here in June, the days on market was only 18. And as well in March, the days on market was only 13, meaning that was a very strong market where sellers could expect bidding wars. Whereas now our days on market is 24, but these numbers here really don't tell the whole story. Um, from what I'm seeing in the market, the reason for the days on market being this high is simply because the condo market is slowing down our entire market. It's such right now that condos, their prices have somewhat decreased due to COVID and they're staying on the market a lot longer than usual. Whereas if you look at the market of freehold properties, so detached homes, semi-detached, townhouses, even if you look at like condo townhomes, we're seeing that the days of market is very low and a lot of properties are still having bidding wars and selling for more than the asking price. Wow. All right, now the next graph I'd like to draw your attention to compares where we are as far as August 2020 to August 2019. So the number of sales, the volume has increased from 7,711 to 10,775, which is a 39.7% increase. And then similarly with the average price, we've experienced a 20% increase with the average price. That's right. Despite COVID, despite all the volatility and uncertainty in the market, the average price has gone up quite significantly. The average price was 793,000 in 2019. And now the latest data from Treb shows the average price is at $951,000. However, this chart now will give you a deeper understanding of the marketplace as we look at the actual property types and how their average price compares to where it was last year. So 
Detached homes are actually experiencing the most appreciation. Our average detached home was selling at $979,000 in August 2019. Now it's selling for $1,180,000. Our average semi-detached home was selling at $768,000. Now it's selling at $906,000. Our average townhouse was selling at $692,000 and now it's selling at $806,000. And lastly, what's so with the condo market is the average price increased by 9.6% from $500,000. $175,000 in 2019 August to $630,000 in August of 2020. So in looking at this data, you can see the practical takeaway is if you're choosing to downsize to a condo, if you own a detached home and you're considering selling in order to buy a condominium, now is a really good time because you've experienced a lot of this appreciation with your home, yet the condo market hasn't appreciated as significantly. I hope you found this information helpful. If you're considering selling your home, then do call me. My number is 416-671-5218. Similarly, if you're looking to purchase a home, I have five active listings right now. Likely, I could really help you out. Call me, email me, send me a text message, or visit my website, torontorealestatenow.com, where that website can really help to assist you with your search. And if you're a real estate agent that's come across this video, I really appreciate your support. I've recently switched brokerages over to eXp, the first cloud-based brokerage. And if you're looking for opportunity, you're looking to grow your business, then do give me a shout too and we can further discuss it. My number is 416-671-5218. Hope you all enjoyed this information. Do share the video with anyone else that may find the information helpful and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care.